What's crack a lacking can of crew? This is your main man, Quinn Stefan, coming at you with episode 29? 29 of our Pokemon Insurgents Egg Lock. Last episode, we we ran into the leader of the Cult of Perfection and also some other guy. I can't remember. His name was Tane. I don't know what his position was. But we fought him, and he had some Mega Evolution going on. He had a little Mega mega Stunfisk. Uh, but we... we I'm not going to say we didn't have any problems. Cause we, we almost lost to someone. Um, but we definitely got through unscathed, which is very nice. But that leads us to now. It brings us here. We're going to get a party update real quick. Just kidding. I'm not clicked into the window. That would help if I was. Um, boom. Now we're going to get a party update. So we've got... Uh, We've got some healing that we need to do as well. We've got Android level 43, Bronzong, with Confuse Ray, Extra Sensory, Fan Attack, and Gyro Ball. Then we've got Alexa. I read Fan Attack and I was like, we just said Fan Attack. Why am I hit? My brain just. <laughs> Alexa, level 46, Pidgeot, holding the amulet coin because we found, bought, I forget, we bought one. I think so. We bought one from the black market. With Fan Attack, Wing Attack, Return and Sand Attack, and then we've got Dragonstone, our level 44. Uh, whatchamacallit, Delta Avalug, holding the Focus Sash with Skull Bash, Rock Blast, Bite, and Dragon Rush. Then Torpedo, our level 45, Samurott, with, with the Splash Plate, Aqua Jet, Scald, Aqua Tail now, and Revenge. We've got Weed Wizard, a level 47, Toxic Orb, holding Seed Bombing, Mega Drain, Ikai Uppercutting, Leech Seeding, Breloom, and then Zaprong. Holding the magnet with dynamic punch, fire punch, hammer arm, and thunder punch. Using them arms. Using the arms and fists for days. Well, let's heal up Torpedo and Android and move forward. Move forward. We're going to potion up Android because he doesn't need too much health. He's got the lefties anyway, so he'll get it eventually. And then we're going to... Did we buy any super potions? Yes, we did. We're going to super potion up Torpedo. Boom. Good stuff. So let's get going. Perfect. Let's get going this way. So I see a Pokeball up there. Whoa. That's a good item to have. Just lying around. Hello, fan. Up we go. I feel like this episode's going to get pretty intense here. Okay, we've led with... Uh, but I like Android out front. Hmm. What should I do? Should I leave a Zaprong? I'm going to leave a Zaprong. Let's go, Zaprong. You need some shine of time. Some time to shine. Up the stairs with this monk electric monkey. <laughs> Continuing up. Now we're gonna probably have to battle these people. Hey, get out of here! Sky Cult is taking over! Oh really? I've got something to say about that. I said I've got something to say about that. Sky Cult is you you guys look pretty cool. Oh man, we picked a good lead. We picked a great lead. But you can get drill run. But we're gonna go for Thunder Punch anyway. Can we Oko? Yes, we can! Oh, poor Dodrio. It's a bird. It's a weak to electric, but it can't even fly. Togekiss! Oh, the bird's coming in hot. Well, I mean, Togekiss isn't really a bird. He just floats. He's like, whoa. Really fat, though. Oh my goodness. Aura Sphere. Calm down. Calm down. Get wrecked. I need a sip of water, man. I need a sip of water. Let me get the mic out of the way so I don't drizzle on it. Mm. Oh, that makes me feel 20 times better. Maybe, maybe not 20, but it makes me feel a lot better than I was before. My mouth's just a lot not dry. That makes sense. A lot not dry. Okay, the question is, do we go out into Dragonstone and Dragon Rush? I think that's exactly what we do. I think that's exactly what we do in this situation. I want a Fairy type. I like Fairy types. I haven't used them, like, ever, because uh, I don't have a 3DS, so I have no way to use them in this. I'm defensive. I'm defensive. I'm defensive. I'm not specially defensive. You're defensive, too, though. Oh, goodness. Because, like, what if he Dragon Breaths? Hurts me a lot. Okay. I, be, I think we can even survive a crit. There we go. Just connect. Connect. There we go. Dragon stone. Sweet. Taking out a another dragon. That's what I like to see. Dragon stone's really bulky defensively, but his special defense is deadly bubkiss. So we're gonna heal up. Sound like the door just opened. Oh no! It's frisky. Frisky. 
She's up in the closet. <laughs> so let's continue. I think uh, we're gonna f we're gonna just clear out this floor. We're gonna clear out all the floors possible, and then once we get to that intense battle that I know is coming up, a butterfly. I'm probably gonna end it there, and then we're gonna start the next episode with that. I could have fireballed. Oh well, that's stab. You'd be great with iron fists. Is that an ability that you could have? I'm gonna look that up afterwards. Thunder punch everything till it dies. I said thunder punch everything till it dies. I'm just in a singing mood right now. Happens. Happens, happens, happens. Crowbat. Thunder punch everything till it dies. I mean, we are in the sky. Act. You're not holding an item, are you? That does nothing. It doesn't do nothing. It does a little bit of something. Wow! Fire punch. Don't crit me. I said, don't crit me. I said, don't crit me. Hey, don't crit me. All right. Zapron pushing through. Level 46. Solid. Zapron, what did you gain? Three levels already? In two battles? That's good experience if you ask me. Speaking of experience, we could uh, throw the experience share on somebody if we wanted to, but I think I think we're just gonna rock out with what we got right now. We're gonna we're gonna put Android back out front. Just kidding. This is this is too good for me to pass up. Cause like the way I think of it is like the best way to keep your team all equal is to use the Pokemon that are to like make good use of type advantage because when I'm fighting the Sky Cultist and I just body things with Zapron, he gets pretty good levels. And then if we go and face um, the Abyssal Cult, we can throw out Weed Wizard and then he gets good levels. And then if we face some um, Fairy Gym or Fairy someone, we can throw out Android and he'd get good levels. And so like, it's all about it's all about the. Uh, Smart, smart switch choices. That's how. That's at least how I I do it. I just let Z I'll let Zapron get up nice and high, and then he'll just sit in the party and chill, and then we'll get the next person nice and high. But I feel like actually I'm def I'm gonna switch now because we're gonna run out of PP on Thunder Punch, and we're gonna need Thunder Punch for the cult leader battle if we fight him or her. So we're gonna switch uh, Android in because you resist, so that's nice. Yeah, at least you resist the flying, which is always a good time when you have resists. Is there something on that table? No, that was her hair. Up these stairs. What do we got? We got a crate. That's a great crate, if you ask me. Great crate. Up these stairs. So no one on that floor. PC. So, I like what you did there, Suzerain. Time to deposit Electabuzz here. Boom. And we're going to put him back in. Get that PP back. And while we're at it, is there anyone... Stop. Is there anyone else who would like some PP? Um, you have no gyro balls left. So we're going to do that. You're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. So we're gonna... Oh, it didn't. Did it heal it up? Let's see. I don't think it did. It did not. That's sad. Well, so much for that idea. We're going to throw Zapron back out front because it didn't take long to get up here. So we're doing it. This looks like... At least this looks like a place where things would go down. There it is. All right, Quinn, are you ready? We need to warn the auger that the Sky Cult is up is on their way up. Otherwise, they might blackmail him into summoning Rayquaza. Steven Stone. <laughs> who is that? I don't know who it is. Yes, sir. Everything's ready upstairs. We can. Well, well, well. Isn't that a sight for sore eyes? It's oh, it's the auger speaking. What did I give him? What voice did I give him? Isn't that a sight for sore eyes? That sounds so evil, but I feel like he's evil. I don't know. Is that Damien Quinn from Telnor Town? It's good to see you two again, but I have to ask why you're here. Was it to challenge our gym? If it is, you're in luck. 
East here is our very own Sky-themed gym leader. He excels in both dragon and flying types. Where's my ice type? Goodness gracious. N no sir, we're, we're here because because we, we overheard members of the Sky Cult talking. They want to summon Rayquaza, and they plan to blackmail you into helping them. That is a serious problem. You're positive about this? Are you sure you heard exactly what they said correctly? If so, then this certainly is a problem. Out of all times to come, of course they'd pick now. I hope this wouldn't this wouldn't have to be done. It'd have to happen. But what's done is done. Come out, gentlemen. Oh no. Oh no, are you working with the f No! Huh, what's going on? Oh gosh, Jaren, why? I'm sorry about this, Damien. I truly am. You were so young, youthful, and bright. It can't be helped, though. You heard my cultist. Bruh. I'm the leader of the Sky Cult. Surprised? You shouldn't be. When you think about it, it's pretty obvious. Now your voice is definitely evil. I created Sky Cult several years ago. Just before the auger disappeared. We were a small group at first. A ragtag band. Who were just unified by the desire for one thing. Change. You see, the auger was the perfect hero of the people. Along with his partner Hoopa, he defeated cult after cult. Trying to bring good values to the people of Torin. Such as peace, love, and mercy. Being merciful has... He forgave... He forgave anyone who begged... Who begged him to. Letting criminals... People go on... Letting criminals people go unpunished. As a result, the members of the disbanded cults just joined one another, joined other ones, making it a completely pointless act. You got a point. If that's what happened, then that's a problem. The Yager was strong, but he was a coward. He wasn't able to do what was necessary to keep the region safe. So I dealt with him, and crowned myself his successor. With the new Augur, we could cure the, the diseased plague, the disease plaguing Torm for good. We could save the region forever. You'll never get away with this, you monster! Oh, but Damien, I already have. With a bit of propaganda, I've already got all of the Torin region on my side. That's why I can't let you two blab about my true identity. Realistically, nothing, nobody would believe you, but it's a risk I can't take. <sighs> this guy, I want to capture Rayquaza. With its incredible strength to control over the sky, it can be omnipresent, omniscient, om <laughs> omniscient, and omnip on omnipotent. Oh my goodness. I hear these words all the time in the Bible and reading them in church, and I just can't say them now. I could create a utopia free of war and crime. I refuse to be the coward that the first augur was. Any criminal, any threat to a perfect world needs to be removed. I found the, goal, the Sky Cult to help me research this goal. And now, we've accumulated all we need to summon Rayquaza. The sacrifice can begin. Rayquaza will be summoned, and he will be mine. This soon-to-be peaceful region will thrive under my command. East, get one of the cultists. It's time to start. Sir, I know we plan to sacrifice one of them, but since these kids are here, and are going to live their lives in prison anyway, why not sacrifice one of them? Bruh, come on now. I'm just saying, take Damien. I got, I got things to do. Just kidding. Don't take any of us. I'm going to protect Damien with all of my might. We, we wouldn't need to waste any cultists. That's not a terrible idea. East, after what Quinn has done to me, I'll enjoy every second of it. What have I done to you? What? What has Quinn done to you? That's what I'm saying. Oh, he won't remember. He's forgotten nearly everything. Is this from when I was I lost my memory and I woke up and I probably was some serious baller that was against him? Fair point. I'm, I skipped something. It would be hypocritical to sacrifice you after talking about Utopia, wouldn't it? Quinn, in the spirit of fairness, I will give you a fighting chance. Oh no, we're going to fight someone and it's going to be scary. You'll battle with East, and if the loser gets and the, the loser gets used for the ritual. Sorry, East, you're getting embodied. But but sir, why are you risking But sir, why are you risking me? Why not use one of the grunts? Because East, you were a gym leader. And I'm sure you'll win. So how am I going to fight the gym if I beat him and then I don't know. I'm sure you'll win. Quinn doesn't stand a chance. But East, are you questioning me? No, sir. Gosh, why? I don't like intense battles. They make me cry inside. 
Something personal, but the auger's orders... Oh, something personal, but the auger's orders were given. Okay, okay. It's time to get our game face on. No games played. You look like Steven! Six Pokemon, Skarmory. Level 46. Oh, this is... Mm, Fire Punch. Is Thunder... I'm gonna save my Thunder Punches. Hopefully this will do half, but you're defensive. Yeah, you are. Burn? Toxic? Calm down. Calm down. Oh, man. I'm scared. I'm nervous right now. My legs are all jumping around. Whirlwind? Out into Alexa. What can we what can we do to you? Anything? I don't think so. Uh well. I'll return. Why not? Maybe you'll heal and I can switch. Okay, you're just gonna keep switching. I mean, you're just resetting my poison damage, so I'm okay with that. You're gonna heal, aren't you? Yep. I could have switched a. I could have traded healing and uh, healed my poison. I'm gonna heal my poison because I feel like you might whirlwind me anyway. If that's your plan. I feel like if you're doing this, you should probably have stealth rocks so you set them up and then start whirlwinding me out. That seems like the smart thing to do. Uh, but apparently not. Because I'm pretty sure. Or you get spikes. If you get stealth rocks, I don't know. Uh, like a book! Oh my goodness! I just... Oh, I just got red! Like an instruction manual. If you toxic again, I'm done. Okay, you're just going for toxic. I'm going to fire punch you. Oh no! Is he gonna go into like a... I'm getting played so hard. Holy cow. Uh, uh, uh. Do we have a full restore? I just got played like a fiddle. When you drag in water, so you probably have ice beam. I feel like I need to stay in with Zaprock. Uh, I'm gonna heat. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna heal first, and then I'm gonna. If I have the chance, I'll. If you start setting up stuff, like a freaking. Okay. That's gonna hurt so bad. Oh no, Zaprock. Hang in there. Okay. Let me just switch out. If you Ice Beam, I mean, you probably won't, but if you do, oh well. We gotta, we gotta get things done. Okay, eat this up, Weed Wizard. Thank you. And we're gonna heal up Weed Wizard, because we're not taking chances. Can I use a super, I think a super potion would suffice. Maybe. Yeah, that'll do just fine. Per almost perfect. Ice Beam, probably. Okay. Yes! So we're going to take that miss, and we're going to, because he's going for Hydro Pumps. We're going to heal up our good old Zaprong. Hydro Pump again. Icy Wind. Okay, that shouldn't do too much. That's not a very high damage move. Speed fell. Healed by poison. Okay. So we're going to, and now we're going to, um, Antidote. We're going to Antidote it up. Antidote it up. Antidote it up. Antidote it up. Keep icy wind. You, you can miss icy wind. It's good to know. But I'm gonna leech seed. Draco, you're gonna drop a Draco on me. Get out of here. Get out of here. We're getting all sorts of healing going on. I feel like I can I can take a Draco though. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. Seed bomb. How much is this gonna be? That's a good animation. Eat it up, eat it up, Weed Wizard! Let's go! Mmm! Now we can't... I, it probably wouldn't kill, but we're still not risking anything. Because, by golly, I do not want to grind. And Weed Wizard's my friend. I like Weed Wizard a lot. Okay, miss your icy wind. Let's go! <laughs> We can go ahead and just Mega Drain. Drop another Draco. Lower your special attack even more, even though you're dead after this turn. But that's going to do nothing. 
Give me that HP. All right, who's coming in now? Saffron's level 48. Hmm, that's what I like to hear. Noivern? What is that? Dragon poison? Dragon? I think it's dragon poison. I'm gonna I'm gonna look it up. This is a uh, mid battle lookup information here. Taking out my nice uh, phone. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, 116. Represent. If you don't know who they are, look them up. Noivern. It is... I think it's Dragon Poison, but it might be Dragon Flying. I feel like there's... It's Dragon Poison, though. It's Dragon Flying! Just kidding! So, we can go into... I almost just went to click with the mouse. We can go into Zaprong. And we can Thunder Punch. Even though it's neutral, it'll still... It's probably my best bet. Unless you have EQ. You get, you're so intimidating. Focus Blast! Calm down. Okay. Para? Ah, almost half. Focus Blast again. Eat it up, Zaprong. No crit. Eat it up, Zaprong. No crit. Let's go! So we're probably gonna trade healing. CRITICAL HIT! YES! Woo! Okay, okay, that's the kind of, the kind of things we, are you all, do you only have like dragons and flying, oh, you're the gym leader that specializes in dragon and flying types, duh, of course you only have them. We're gonna stay in and heal, cause that's the same typing, even though you're, if you set up a cotton guard, I'm pretty sure we lose, cause I can't take this thing down, I might have to leech seed it, and then that's risking getting four times damage on me, so that's not gonna happen. <sighs> What are you going to do? Oh, oh, no. What are you? Dragon flying still, I feel like. Are you still dragon flying when you mega evolve? Oh, no. The bulk. Hyper beam. Ah! You have to recharge. I'm leech seeding you. Oh. Come on! If you, if there was ever a time to miss a leech seed, it is literally the opposite of right now, we wizard. Yes. Okay. 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 So there's residual damage going on. We're gonna go right into. I f mm, do I want to go into Android? I feel like I have to. Android, you got this. Android, you got this. Android, you got this. Android, you got this. We can fuse it, and then we can... I don't know. Dragon Pulse. Eat it up. Eat it up. Zap wrong! Ugh! I'm so sad. We have extra sensory now. Sweet. Dragon Pulse. Okay. Is this your best attack for me? Then we're good. We can get through this Altaria. Get confused. Mmm. I'm gonna go ahead, one second guys, I'm gonna mark down that uh, our buddy Zaprong passed away in this episode. That's so sad. Ah, uh, he was one of our new members too. It's extra sensory. Hurt yourself. Cotton Guard! I'm hitting you on the special side. Hitting you on the special side. Lefties and Leech Seed, and hopefully you'll hit yourself and we can take you out. Hit yourself, we can take you out. Hit yourself, we can take you out. Hit yourself, we can take you out. No! Oh, Leech Seed! Yes! Gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Talon! Catch a rock blast. Catch a rock blast. Swords dance. Oh no. Please hit five times in Oko. Oh, we need to hit twice. Hopefully we don't low roll. Get out of here, Talon Flame. Swords dancing on me like you had time to spare. Get out of here. 
You're not living a hit from Dragonstone? No way. Gliscor. Ground flying. No ice type moves. Ah, oh, if we had levitate. I think torpedo's it. Torpedo's torpedo's the one. You have two Pokemon left, and one of them's your Skarmory, and we can take that out with Torpedo, I guess. We can Scald. We'll just end this game with Scalds, I think. EQ. How much is that gonna do? Probably a lot. Mmm. How much is that's a lot. That's is that half? Doesn't matter because we take you out in one shot. Skarmory. Can we take this out with someone else? We can take you out with Alexa, probably. Just kidding. Maybe not. Um, uh, I'll stay in. I just... Can Skarmory kill me? I don't think Skarmory can take me out from this range. What is it called? Spikes? You can sit here and Spikes and Whirlwind to win? Is that what you're going to do? Get off my screen! Alright, we won. We're not getting sacrificed today. We had to make a sacrifice, though. <laughs> Leader East, get out of here. Please. Oh, I forgot that that means that he's dead. I lost. I, I, I don't believe it. I'm disappointed, East. I'd love to change my mind and save you, but I can't. I made a promise. And a strong ruler keeps his promises. Truth? I'm sorry, and farewell. Ah! In my eyes... In my, in my mind's eye, I see a region filled with love. It's a far off, almost unachievable dream. Death on the way to that goal is a trivi triviality. Okay. East's, East's sacrifice was not in vain, especially now that I can use him to summon Rayquaza. You can follow me to the roof if you want. Try and stop me, I dare you. But be warned. I'm be warned? Be warned. I'm not going to spare you twice. Sweet lord. I blame you for East's death. He was the best gym leader in the region. Thanks for beating East. I was a cultist. They were going for... I was the cultist for on the sacrifice, but now I, I don't have to be. Cool, you're welcome, fam. You enjoy my team. Don't underestimate the strength of a legendary Pokemon like Rayquaza. It really are godlike. Did that surprise you that the second Augur was on our side all along? It did, actually. Well, like, it didn't surprise me that he was evil. It surprised me that he was with you, though, and we don't have anyone behind us because... Zapron passed away. Zapron, you were... You were, uh... You were good to us. Ugh! But anyways, guys, I think we're gonna we're gonna heal up, and that's gonna be it. Ah, I'm gonna need hyper potions for this battle. But I used everything else. I need to use it. I can't throw in a half health mod. Ah, we're gonna lead off with. Okay, thank goodness that. Oh gosh, if I wasted a hyper potion. Mm -mm -mm, that would not be good. And I didn't go over the question that of hours today because it's too intense again. It was way too intense. So we're going to do it right now. Bible verse of the day is 1 Corinthians 15, 58. And it says, Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, stand firm. Let nothing move you. Always give yourself fully to the work of the Lord because you know that your labor in the Lord is not in vain. Just like how the auger said that uh, Tain's death or that was Tain, right? Tain's death was not in vain but uh, you know that your labor in the Lord is not in vain even when it seems like you're doing things for God and everything's going downhill people are making fun of you people are just like you're dumb because you're a Christian and or maybe you're just like not seeing results don't don't get discouraged uh, it says, stand firm, let nothing move you. Let no discouragement move you. Let nothing move you. Always give yourself fully to the work of the Lord. Because it's not, your labor is not in vain. God's got a plan. He knows, he knows what's going to happen. He knows what's going to do good and what's going to do bad. And so the good's going to do good. And the bad's going to do bad. Uh, and that's uh, pretty repetitive and pretty um, obvious. But... Just trust in God, your labor's not in vain. Uh, and then our question of the day. Since we have passed Thanksgiving, I believe we have, I might be wrong. I'm pretty sure this episode's going up after Thanksgiving, though. But since Thanksgiving is behind us, 
the next big holiday in our sights is Christmas. And Christmas is a great time. I love Christmas. Christmas is the symbolizes the birth of Christ, so that's awesome to begin with. My birthday's near Christmas, December 20th, by the way. My birthday. Keep it on your calendars, you know. Um, so the question of the day is, what is the best Christmas present you have ever gotten? What is it? Is it? Was it something when you were little? Was it something very recently? Mine probably is... Okay. After this Christmas, it's going to change, because I'm getting a Disney pass for this Christmas, and Janelle loves Disney, and we're going to go to Disney all the time after this. Well, I mean, not all the time, but we're going to go to Disney more frequently, because I'm going to get a Disney pass, so that's going to be the future best one. But my old best present was probably... Hmm. Probably a basketball hoop. My grandparents got me and my brother a basketball hoop for Christmas a couple of years ago, and it was great, because uh, I love playing basketball. Um, but yeah... What is your favorite Christmas present you've ever gotten? Um, well, that's going to do it for us, guys. We're running around 30-ish minutes, like 31 minutes. Um, so I'm going to get out of here. Phone, stop vibrating. I probably didn't pick up, actually, because this mic's great. Because the echo's gone. I didn't celebrate that in any of our other episodes, but it's gone. At least I hope it is. I'm pretty sure it is, though. Good stuff. We're achieving great things on this channel nowadays. Great things. But have a good day, guys, uh, and remember, light up the night.